Hey everybody, so this is the part one of my monotype demo video. I'm going to show you three different techniques to use um, to make your monotype prints. And the first one is called reductive or reduction. So um, I have got three colors of ink rolled out here, yellow, red, and blue. And then I've got a plexiglass plate. Here in the shop and this is going to be my, the basis for my image this this picture of a lotus flower so first thing I'm going to do before I um, have start having fun with the ink is to set up my registration so you actually want to mark the plexiglass plate not on the top where you're going to put the ink but on the bottom so that the um, sharpie doesn't transfer so if you look closely, you can see that the edge of the plexiglass is beveled. It's got a beveled edge. So the side that's beveled is the top. So we're going to have to flip it over to mark it. Flip it over. Put this down. I'm going to mark it on the back side with my Sharpie. So you want to know the image area, and you want to know the size of your paper. So now I've got these four corners marked that are the size of my image, and I'm going to do the same thing with this piece of the paper that I'm going to print on. So I just put that under the plexiglass center my, you know, corner marks on there. And then with the Sharpie, put corner marks for your paper. This is going to help you get your image in the center. And also, if you're going to layer more than one color, it helps you get it, the colors to overlap just perfectly. Next, the next thing I'm going to do is mark what the top of the image is. So I'm just going to write the word top and an arrow. All right, so that's my registration done for this mono, monotype. So I flip the plexiglass plate back over. Top reads backwards, All right? Now, I'm going to show you the reductive method for um, putting an image on the plexiglass. I'm going to take some of this painter tape and mask out the edge of my image. So now when I roll the ink down, I can roll it down uh, only inside my image area. I'll roll only inside the tape. So I'm going to use blue and just roll a flat of blue ink on the plexiglass. you can either do one or two of two things. You can put your sketch uh, underneath the plexi and basically like trace it, trace it through because you can see that you can see the image pretty well through this transparent blue ink. Or you could just have your sketch off to the side and, and draw from sight looking at their sketch. So I'm going to put it underneath. And for the most part, I use paper towels to wipe reductively and to wipe away to make my drawing on the, in the ink. Just put my finger in paper towels. If 
if you use a heavy pressure, you'll wipe all the ink away. If you use a light pressure, you'll leave a kind of texture, almost like a sort of painterly brush stroke mark. So you're basically just wiping your image away with a paper towel for the most part. Um, so at this point, I've wiped away most of what I want to for the flower. Um, another thing you can do is take other tools like paintbrushes or even the handle part of the paintbrush to put lines into your composition. Any kind of mark that you can make in the ink with any tool will help you create your, your composition. So you can experiment with putting lines, linear information in the ink. You can use the brush or the paintbrush to try to create a texture with that. The, really the paintbrush will just sort of like smooth out the ink. And for actual like textural brush stroke kind of mark, I recommend the paper towel and a very light pressure. You can also use any kind of like textural information if you want to. Like we have these plastic uh, pads that you might put in the bottom of drawers and impress that into the ink to create texture. I love to use combs, like cheap plastic combs, to cre create a kind of um, a linear pattern in my ink. So experiment around with different um, ideas. You can also grab a piece of saran wrap or wax paper and crumple it up and then sort of stamp that into the ink for a kind of a, cr a crinkly texture. And that'll pick up the ink and create a texture. So this is a lot of fun to play around with what types of textures you can make in your basically like ink drawing on the plexiglass. Once you are sort of satisfied with what you have, then it's time to take it to the press and print. You would set the press for um, the same pressure that you would have used to print your linoleum blocks. Don't forget to peel the tape back up. So I'm going to peel my tape border. I'll take my paper towel here and just wipe up any ink that got in my margin. Some of it did, so. When I was using the comb, I got a little excited and I put blue ink in the border, so I'm gonna wipe it back out. And now I'm gonna go pull it. Okay, so this is um, one time through the press after putting a drawing in the blue ink um, basically like wiping it away with a paper towel i wiped away the negative space down in the bottom and i wiped away these flower petals here and then i put some texture in that background with the comb and the plastic piece of plastic that's got a texture on it so that can be a finished print or it can be one layer, the first layer. For this demo, I'm gonna make this the first layer. And now I'm gonna layer in some more color into these, into these petals right now. So I've already used blue. And now I'm gonna add some yellow. We're gonna put our print aside, take our plexiglass, and clean off the extra residue of ink. Sometimes it'll just wipe up without any solvent. 
but usually you need at least a couple drops of the mineral spirit to get it wiped up. Before you start um, with your second color of ink, it's a really good idea to put some a little more information on your plexiglass from your first ink layer. So I'm going to flip my plexiglass to the back again, put my print underneath it carefully, and line it up with my corner marks. the image up with the image corner marks okay. and then now I can take my sharpie and trace out some of the shapes that I'm going to want to keep right I'm going to want to know like where the stem is with sharpie on the and I'm going to flip it over to put the ink down. So, remember before you do the ink, you want to tape off your borders. So what I'm going to do is sort of selectively roll the yellow. I have to decide where I want my yellow. So, Wherever I overlap it with the blue, it's going to turn some version of green. Where I've wiped away the blue on the print and the white paper is showing through, if I put yellow there, it's going to look yellow. So um, I decide to put yellow in some of these leaves, maybe the, the lighter, brighter ones. And I think I'm also going to put it um, in my background um, at the bottom here and fading up about halfway into that negative space. So now I've got enough yellow on there, I'm going to start wiping it away. I'm going to just put my, my blueprint here as a reference so I can see better what I'm doing. Notice though, you're going to notice as you start working that the image prints in reverse. So, um, this is a reverse of this. Okay, so this is my yellow layer with uh, yellow in the background, about half of the background, and on some of the uh, petals but wiped completely away from some of these lower petals. Now I'm going to go print this on top of the blue and show you how it comes out. Okay, and so this is my uh, yellow layer printed on top of the blue. Wherever I wiped it completely away, stayed blue. And wherever I partially wiped it, um, it combined with the blue to make green. So you can see green sort of in the middle part of the negative space there. And now I'm going to add my third color, which is going to be red. So I decided I wanted to cover most of the image with red. I decided I wanted to cover all of the negative space with red. And I just wiped away some of the highlights on the petals of the flower. So we're going to see what happens now. Always remembering to pull up the tape borders before we go to print. So all three layers, yellow, blue, and red, have been done reductively. So this is a three color reductive monotype. I'm gonna print the red on top of the yellow and blue and show you what happens. 
All right, so this is the image that I got. Um, the red turned to yellow orange and the blue purple. And in some of the places where I wiped away, I kept some of my highlights where I have all three colors. Those are my deepest, darkest shadows. And the red was a pretty juicy layer, so it made pretty dark orange. I could have rolled it out like half as, half as thick, so if it was pretty thin, and so that when you roll the red out really thin, it looks um, more like pink. And then it changes, you know, that'll mix with the colors differently and like make a lighter orange and whatnot. But I'm pretty happy with this. This result uh, is pretty much what I expected. So this is a reductive three color monotype. And now I'm gonna show you two other techniques that you can use to create monotypes.